that's not my term. Other people have said it. Um, but due to, you know, what, what I think, and this is going to go back kind of back through history and a little bit high level is like, we've gone through these different periods of different things becoming valuable where we went from, you know, uh, resources being valuable, like farming to, to land. And then the 20th century or, or, you know, 19th century was capital was, was valuable. Mm -hmm. Right. And then we, we got into information being valuable, uh, which was the 20th century. And now, now we're moving into something else and we don't really know what it is yet. And a lot of the, the value, a lot of like this, this uptick of growth that we've experienced happened because of inventions that happened in a very small window of time. Um, and these are not my ideas that, you know, I think like people like Eric Weinstein or Teal talk about this stuff a lot, but like between 1880 and 1920, we got most of the technology that makes our lives different than the middle ages, right? The reason like I'm in New York, it's 30 degrees and cold out right now. Well, like the air conditioner or heater rather that's keeping me warm was invented in that time period. Mm -hmm. So what what we have is the situation where like the internet and information technology has delivered a lot for us, but we don't know how much more value there is left to be extracted from it. And it could be massive. It could be game changing with AI, or it could just be continually disillusioning for people. And I think because of that, I think because of that scenario, there is a real dearth or like a real drought of trust. Right. And that, <laughs> so that's the massive, you know, I warned everyone that I'm going to be crazy about this. But, I'm um, loving it. So keep going. Like I'm so in. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, so that, that's the thing that I think is upstream of everything else, right. Where we don't, you know, there's not a lot of shared experience anymore. We don't know. Um, th th there's no, you, you can't really bow out of it. And if you, even if you could, it's not going to solve the problems that we're up against. So like the only way out is through kind of thing, at least that's what I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, so, so that's the high level to zoom down to like the day to day and what that means for like our agency clients that are selling programmatic advertising or the tech client that's selling a widget or whatever is you're up against just this like constant uh, lack of trust and disillusionment. So